Let's discuss question nine. So it says that even though the population standard deviation is not known, an investigator uses a Z rather than the appropriate T to test a hypothesis with the alpha at 0.05. So the question is, is the level of significance smaller or larger than 0.05? So this one will help to visualize it with a drawing. So let's go ahead and draw the Z distribution first. So this is a Z distribution. And just to help us, let's make it one-tailed. So we'll say this is 1.65. Now remember, actually it'll help if I do this, there we go. Now remember, this is 5%, right? Or alpha 0.05. That 1.65 designates where 5% um, of the distribution is in one part of the, uh, the distribution. So that's the Z distribution. Now let's do the T distribution. I'm going to make that in green. Now remember the T distribution, um, it tends to be flatter and more spread out. And so unless you have a sample size of infinity, you're going to see a T distribution that looks a little bit more like this. Now they have the same mean, but you see how the T distribution is squattier and spread out. So what we're looking at is what our rejection region should be. If you erroneously selected the 1.65 as your rejection region because you were using the red distribution to define your rejection region, do you see how your real rejection region would be much larger? The rejection region for the Z distribution would be 5%. So this shaded red zone here is 5%. But you can see how this is much bigger than 5%. It's the blue plus the red. So the rejection region for this particular example is much larger, well in my picture it is much larger than 5%. So my level of significance that I've elected by using 1.65 is larger than 5% um, in the T distribution that I should have been using. Now moving on to um, the next question, just going to scroll down. Um, this one's asking a, a different question, but it's about the same picture. It says, okay, so even though the standard population standard deviation is not known and they use the Z, which is red, rather than the T, which is green, is the true critical value smaller or larger? So remember, if you use the Z, your critical value was 1.65. But if you were supposed to use the T, then your critical value was actually going to be up here because this is where the true 5% and the upper tail of the distribution would be. So this distribution is going to be, um, sorry, this portion of the distribution is going to be 5%. So this critical value is going to be much larger than the 1.65 because see, they're all on the same scale. This is 1.65, this number is larger than 1.65. So what we saw with both of these questions was an attempt to explain or understand how the T distribution really does change um, the relationship you have um, with your critical value and your rejection region um, if you were to erroneously use the Z distribution. And so this is why we need to make sure if it we're not given the population standard deviation we need to use the T distribution. Otherwise, we've inflated our alpha and we're more likely to reject the null when we shouldn't be.